Hi, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today it's part two of the essential question. How many guitars do you need? Electric edition. So last week we covered acoustic guitars pretty much in depth and, and uh, I hope you'll go check out that video. Every electric guitarist needs to be aware of acoustic guitars at a bare minimum. Often it's a great idea to be playing acoustic guitars to improve your skills. So I urge you to go check out that video, but stick around if you want to talk about electrics and explore a little bit. If you notice with electric players, what you'll often see is that the best players will go in phases. They'll spend a year, maybe two, playing one particular guitar. Great example of that would be Jimi Hendrix, right? Hendrix was a Strat guy. Strat through a Marshall, done. Eric Clapton has gone through phases of his career. And, you know, most notably, I think of his 335 phase, you know, the, the blind faith years, that, that cherry red 335. I love that particular tone. So Clapton played that 335 for a long time, and then all of a sudden he started playing a black strap. <laughs> and he played that into oblivion. So it's almost like the guitarist and the guitar become one at that point. They're playing that one guitar. Now, I would wager that in recording, he was playing other guitars, not just the, those ones that you were seeing on stage. But live, these are like one guitar guys. David Gilmour played his strap. Ad infinitum, you see tons of live shows, that's what he's playing. So when I looked at my list of electrics, I was almost appalled when I realized that the number was 11. That seems like a lot of guitars. But let's talk about what it is that makes you want or need more guitars on the electric side. Well, for one thing, you've got body type, right? Is it hollow? Is it semi-hollow? Is it solid? Very different characteristics to each of those. You've got the pickup type and configuration. So is it a single coil, which tends to have more attack but be a little noisier? Uh, or is it a humbucker? Is there one, two, or three pickups in the configuration? Uh, if it's one pickup, is it close to the neck? Is it in the middle? Is it near the bridge? So in my case, I have six electrics that would be called standard six strings. One of them is a thin, hollow body from Harmony. It's an H59 from the mid-60s. Three single coil pickups, a really wide variety of tone. They're Diarmid gold foils. They sound incredible. I love them. There's my Heritage 575 with two humbuckers, one close to the neck, one near the bridge. Very wide variety of tones, but pretty beefy, right? It's not like I can't get a Strat sound out of that guitar, but I can get most of what I need when I'm playing live. I have a 1968 SG Special, a Gibson, that is the easiest guitar to play of anything I own. It's, it truly is like butter. It has two P90 pickups, so those are single coils. They're, again, a little bit noisier, but that guitar is so fun to play because it just, it's, you can go way up and down the neck. Uh, it just sounds great. Here it is strummed. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up out of bed. Steady wind is rising in the west. So long ago, my buddy Chen Rower gave me a gift of a black strap from 1985. I have since gifted that to my son, but it's in the family and I still use it, so I'm counting it in my 11 guitars. Uh, a Strat just sounds unique, right? It's single coils, but you got three of them. You've got that five-way selector switch. You've just got a lot of tonal range with it, but it always still sounds like a Strat. It's a unique tone. Similarly, on the Fender side, the Telecaster, I think most guitarists will agree there's nothing that sounds like a Tele. Um, I happen to have a cheap one, a Squire Tele, that I put a B bender, G bender, and drop D lever on. You can see my video about that, but here's what that sounds like. Well, I dreamed I saw the silver spaceships. That's just pretty unmistakable telly sound. All right, so those are standard six string guitars that have a range of tones. Let's talk about specialty guitars now. 
Well, you got to have an electric 12 string. Mine is a Dan Electro. Here's what it sounds like. That's just a unique jangle, right? And, and I love that tone. Now there's another way to get it. I mentioned this about acoustic guitars that you can take a six string and then a Nashville tuned six string. Now we can do that in the electric mode and get some gorgeous tones. It's almost like taking a 12 string and splitting it into two guitars. So for my Nashville tuned electric, I have a mini Squire Strat and it works just beautifully to create that kind of glistening tone. So that's one that I would never do without. More specialty guitars. A baritone guitar, tuned a fourth below standard. It's just, again, a unique sound. You can't get it any other way. course we can't forget a lap steel. I love the wine of a lap steel. It's a unique six string. Mm, that's nice. I'm in the kitchen cooking up a storm. Breakfast skillet mama that's the norm. Fry those eggs, turn that bacon, flip the hash browns for the meal I'm making. Add a pinch of salt, sprinkle lots of pepper then stop. And among my essential electrics, I'm counting my Fender P bass. If you're a recording musician and whether you, if you have a bass player you play with, great. But if you don't, you really need to have that instrument to fill out your bottom end. I mean, I, I use it on every single track. So that bass probably gets more use than any other single guitar I own. So back to our essential question, how many electric guitars do you need? Now, this is an important topic because when you're talking to your partner, and they're looking at all the cases on the wall or in your basement or that are hogging space in a bedroom, they're asking you, do you need all these guitars? It's important to have the answer for that. Now, of course, if you play live and that's your primary focus, you may be able to get away with fewer guitars. You might really only need one or maybe two axes that you can switch between depending on the style of music that you're playing. For recording artists of any kind, even if you're a bedroom recording artist, I personally think there is a very legitimate reason to have more guitars around, as, as long as we're talking about the variety of guitars that really do give you different tones. It's a pretty easy justification when you listen to a song and you say, listen to what this guitar, this 12 string is doing. Listen to what this guitar that's tuned in standard tuning and this one in Nashville tuning are doing together. Listen to what the baritone's doing. Listen to what the bass is doing. Every guitar has such a critical role in the context of a production that it's pretty easy to justify having a number of guitars. I won't say how many. Now, I would love to know how many you have what do you consider the number that you need for what you do? How do you use them? Which guitars are the most important to you? If you had to live with one, which one would it be? Please tell me in the comments. I would really love to know what you're into and, and how you've justified the number of guitars that you have. Okay, that's your guitar discovery for the day. How many guitars do you need? I want to know your answer. Uh, please go to guitardiscoveries.com if you'd like to check out more of my videos. Subscribe here on YouTube, click the little bell so you'll get notified when new videos come out. I love sharing all this stuff with you guys. Uh, we're really building a community. We're very close to 5,000 subscribers. I'm excited about that and uh, eager to keep sharing new discoveries with you. See you soon.